This is OTC Showcase. Today is Wednesday, June 2nd, 2010, and we're going to take a look at Bircher Systems. Made a nice move yesterday, an important move. We're going to come back and touch base on that in a second. See, Bircher's been in a little bit of a downtrend recently. Uh, the MACD PPO following right along with that downtrend. What we're going to look for is this histogram to continue moving north. And let's break this downtrend line of the, of the longer term, the slower MACD line. We want to see it break through there. Um, we can also put one on for the fast line. But we really want to see that slow line make its move. See they're about the same point. Let's get rid of that. We want to see this come back through and establish a new uptrend, breaking this downtrend pattern. To indicate this has made a true bottom and is on its way back up. Coming off of what you'll call a loose pinch, it's not buried super deep. You can see the PPO only made it down to about 7.5, and, and the ADX just over 30, up around 35, 34 basically. Um, it's still a loose pinch. We want to see it come off that pinch and make a move. We want to see this, the PPO, also begin to trend towards zero. It doesn't matter if it wants to uh, you know, oscillate a little bit. We want to see the trend to start heading back north and head back to, to break back above, you know, people term the money line. MFI, we got the fast line moving pretty quick, which would indicate to me that it's been seeing a decent amount of buying pressure. Um, obviously, the PPS, outside of these two long uh, lower wicks shadows, has been staying pretty consistent right here, about 45 at a bottom and around 5 cents. This separation I talk about a lot of times, it'll probably want to try and pull itself back together. But again, the important thing is we see this MFI, these longer terms, 14 and 21, begin to make their move north. You can see the 21 is still in a bit of a downtrend. Um, the, the 14 is trying to curl back up north and make an uptrend. We want to see this all start to come back together down the road here, somewhere in this area probably, and continue an uptrend. Accumulation distribution over the last couple of weeks has been heading up, as with, as with the PPS. The check and money flow heading right around zero. Everything down here is in pretty good shape to uh, to see maybe a true reversal here, a true bottom being found. You can see the tricks. Uh, we always want to see it trending towards zero. It's trying to flatten, had a little breakdown with those long wicks. Uh, once again, trying to turn and make a bullish cross. We want to see this, you know, start to make its roll and head back towards zero. RSIs are in a great position. Holding above 50 is always bullish. We want to see them get back over 50 and continue this. You know, this is four strong trading days in a row. The thing that's important to me when we were watching this was breaking back above this 05, you know, 055, 054 area. See it dip down to 52. But right in through this area, so we always re refer to resistance as, as an area, not necessarily a, a, a fine point. Um, the, the 0 054, the five and a half cent area was a pretty good resistance point for it. And yesterday it moved above it. Now it has the middle Bollinger Band, the 20 day moving average right in front of it. That's your first real form of moving average resistance. So we want to see it try and push back through that from a, I like that. From a PPS standpoint, you can see it's got a little bit right through there too. You know, from there and from back in April where it struggled right around that area, where it actually held support in that area, then fell back through so it becomes resistance. So it has some right in front of it right now with the middle Bollinger Band and a little bit more with this uh, PPS resistance. We really want to see it take that out and then get up here near 0 0.6, around 6 cents. Being that the 50 days dynamic, it's going to continue to come down a little bit with it. It's going to, you can see it's starting to try and flatten and try and curl a little bit. It'll probably meet somewhere around in that area again. That's going to be a pretty good form of resistance. What we want to see, first and foremost, is through the 20-day. Get on the top side of the of the Bollinger Bands, which is a bullish indication, and then get challenge that 50-day moving average and start to trend back upward and hold toward, the, hold toward the upper side of the Bollinger Bands, which is a very bullish chart. This is what we're looking for from Virtua Systems. We're looking for this to have been a true bottom and for this to start to make its way up and move north and continue to make new highs. There will be a next real, real source of of resistance at six and a half cents. That's going to be a big daddy for it. That's going to put it up near the upper Bollinger Band. Um, if it can make it up there in the in the next few days, that's wonderful. If it wants to go up and come back down, that's okay. Uh, let it go up. But we want to start seeing all these indicators 
to, to turn the trend from going south to moving north. And that's going to take a little bit of up and down action to make that happen. So let's just see it try and push through the Bollinger Band. Hopefully we'll see volume pick up just a little bit. Um, 178,000 isn't terrible. I'd say that's somewhere around uh, um, typical average levels. So we're going to look for that to pick up just a little bit as it tries to push north. This is OTC Showcase taking a look at breakfast systems.